Hi, everybody. It's Pastor Rob with today's Bible Break message. Today, our subject is everything you've been looking for. I want to share with you probably one of my favorite verses in all the Bible. It's a Bible verse uh, that has meant a whole lot to me. It's comforted me. It's strengthened me. And it's helped me. We're in Psalm 1611. Psalm 1611. The Bible says, Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. And at thy right hand are pleasures forevermore. That's Psalm 1611. My friend, I'm not sure what you're looking for, but I can assure you that in everything that you're looking for, you're looking for the fullness of joy and you're looking for pleasures forevermore. And see, that's a wonderful thing about the Lord. The Lord's pleasures, the Lord's delights are eternal delights. The world's delights are temporary. They're like a quick sugar fix. It's good and it's up and it's down and it's gone. Can I say that everything you're looking for is in Jesus? He says, thou wilt show me the path of life. That's what you're looking. You're looking for that path, the, the, the path of your career, the path of your family, the path of your relationships, your possessions. People are desperately looking to find that path, that path that puts them on the path of joy and pleasure and happiness, success, as we would call it. May I say, you know what? They're only going to find that when you find God. Can I say, if you've not found the Lord, if you've not found Jesus, that's what you need to find. You can search, my friend, to, till, uh, the, till the stars rain down from the sky at the end of time, but you're never going to find the path of life apart from the Lord Jesus Christ, from God Almighty, and from the Bible, and from the things of the Lord. My friend, everything you're looking for is found in the Lord. He says a couple of things. He says, Thou wilt show me the path of life. Now listen, in thy presence is fullness of joy. Not, not a partial joy, not a little joy, not a here, there joy, uh, but fullness of joy in thy presence. Can I say, seek God, draw close to him. God makes you a promise. He says, if you'll draw nigh or close to me, I'll draw nigh and close to you. Draw close to God. My friends, the closer you are to God, the closer you are to joy. The more gods you have, the more joy you have. Can I say, that's what distinguishes the Christian the Christian's happiness or joy is not based on the circumstances, it's based on the Savior. And in thy presence is fullness of joy. That's why the Christian can go through craziness, suffer heartaches, and still have an unspeakable joy, a joy that passes all understanding. It says, uh, in thy presence is fullness of joy. And listen, at thy right hand are pleasures forevermore. May I say, don't, don't settle for the devil's imitations. Don't settle for the cheap uh, temporary pleasures that the devil has to offer that only last a few minutes or a few days or even in this lifetime a few years. My friend, don't settle for anything less than absolute eternal joy. At, in thy uh, presence is fullness of joy, and at thy right hand are pleasures forevermore. May I say there's a wonderful pleasure in serving God. There's a wonderful pleasure in being right with God. There's a wonderful pleasure in having a close, personal daily relationship with the Lord. It will change your life. It'll change your perspective. My friends, this has been a uh, this has been a way marker for me. It's been an anchor for me. It's brought me back when, when my eyes have been diverted to other little shiny trinkets that are out there. Can I say, it has always brought me back to the fact that, look, what I'm looking for is the path of life. What I'm looking for is the fullness of joy. And what I'm looking for is the uh, fullness of pleasure, uh, eternal pleasures. You know what? You know where that's found? Everything you're looking for is in the Lord. Can I say, go to the Lord, seek the Lord, get right with the Lord, come back to the Lord. He is everything you want. Friends, I hope this has been a blessing and a help and encouragement to you. Till we meet again, let's keep looking to Jesus.